Well, hello. So, um, in August, late August, I jumped back on a motorbike after about 10 years not being on one. Um, I only owned one bike in my life. It was a VFR 800 uh, in a lovely color of blue, which matched my helmet of the time. So the way it worked is that I suddenly realized that uh, for the you know, cheapening cost of a commute, I would jump back on a bike. So I got myself a bargain bike, a Suzuki GS500F, um, which happens to be the sort of bike I learned to ride on. And I went and dug out all of my old motorcycle gear out of the loft and, and started riding. So I, I got on the bike, I had a little ride. And you can see in this photo of when I picked up the new bike that I'd also gotten out of the loft um, my old motorcycle helmet. Now it wasn't until I had been riding for another couple of months getting over those like sort of newbie hurdles again where I realized through my motorbike researching and nerding up that an old helmet is not actually fit for use anymore. Uh, helmets, motorbike helmets have an expiry date and this is something I didn't realize when I pulled mine out of the loft after a decade. So this is actually, if you look at this picture, it's actually the motorbike helmet that I had with my original bike, um, as I said, over a decade ago, and that is a comment on my age as well. Um, and so really, this isn't fit for use. And why is that? Well, okay, so it still looks nice and sheeny and shiny on the outside. Um, it looks a bit racer for my liking. I'm a bit more mellow. Um, but you know, a motorbike helmet looks fine it's still sheeny it's still shiny it still makes you want to look or maybe not everyone but um the point is to my untrained eyes it looked okay i was like yeah okay that's going to protect my noggin but after researching a little bit um into the components of a helmet you know like for the most part this all locks into place it's still quite nice the visor's in good condition so that's functional um you know and i can open and close vents like how great um and like i say it looks absolutely fantastic oh yeah it's also really snug still so i didn't actually get loads of use out of this so when i put this on it's still quite snugly um so the, the lining is quite functional but the problem is that beneath this glossy veneer uh, of the top. And if you were to pull the lining apart and have a look at the actual foam of the helmet, which is the most functional part of a helmet, the part that actually protects you from uh, you know, shock and impact, that part is showing age-related uh, signs. So what happens is that if, if you take the lining out, you'll see that it's all generally painted black. But the thing to look out for generally from what I found online is uh, little sort of like white cracks forming in that foam. And that basically means that it's not going to protect your brain. Uh, it's not going to disperse the uh, shock of impact so well, um, which is obviously the main function of a helmet. So this one, you know, it's still shiny. It's still snug if I put it on. Um, it still feels great and it feels safe. Um, but actually beneath that surface, it's not the helmet I should have been uh, using when I jumped back on the bike. So um, being a budget biker, you know, I was trying to stay on the road, I was trying to keep costs down. It was a hard commute time, uh, you know, in terms of finances. And so I jumped out and I um, bought this helmet. Now this was a secondhand buy, which again is a huge no-no. Uh, you've only got one head. And perhaps in some ways I was uh, jumping into the illusion of safety um, uh, when I bought this helmet. So, you know, it does actually look like it's got a few little scuffs, but it's still sheeny and shiny and it reflects light, um, you know, which is <coughs> very nice. Um, it seems like quite a basic helmet, uh, but, you know, there's a bit of functionality and the visor seemed really quite lovely. Um, actually, the condition of the visor made me feel like it was quite, a, you know, more of a newer purchase in, in that sense, but you can replace those. Um, and the other thing I looked out for is that, you know, it's ECE, uh, what's the number again? ER 2205, um, you know, certified. Uh, so that's a safety standard, the, the minimum safety standard uh, on, the, on the helmet. So it seemed like it was okay. And I got it from an older guy. He was giving up biking. It, it, was, it was a helmet that he had been using recently. He was trusting it um, and it didn't have any signs of impact. So it was just a case of, you know, I felt like it was an improvement, a budget improvement on this, which I knew was not good, not good at all. Um, this felt like maybe an illusion of safety. 
Um, but you know, it, you know, if, if some other guy would trust it, then I, I could trust it a little bit, at least more than that one. That was my thinking. Um, however, looking for this logo online, even using Google Images, I can't find it. Um, I've, I've got no reviews on this helmet of whether it's good or not. Um, but again, it's all in quite good condition. And when I did look beneath the lining, there weren't any of those signs of um, age on the foam. So um, still, I think it's an okay helmet. The other thing to look out for um, is like the catch. How well is, is the... Uh, how well is it catching but you know this seemed quite reliable um, I can pull against it and it's quite okay and that's a thud um, so yeah as much as I could and on a budget with a second hand buy which is not recommended um, this seemed like an okay thing to go for but this is obviously going to be my main riding helmet and uh, I'm really excited that it's come through it's highly reviewed and I've nerded out on what makes a good helmet and on a budget so I'll chuck a you know look at that into another video if that's of interest to you if you're looking for a good budget bike helmet then i believe that i would uh, heartily recommend this one here so in terms of my motorcycle helmet journey um you know i'm a little bit wiser uh, i rode quite unsafely for a while because i'm a noob and like i say you know uh, you don't know what you don't know it's not just about the bike um it's not just about learning to ride again or you know get better at riding again um, there are all those different sort of external peripheral factors that really matter and when it comes to your brain assuming you've got one that matters to you helmet you know knowledge and safety is so so important and in using this one after it was in the loft for a decade I, I might as well have just not had one on pretty much and and that's just such a noob error isn't it um, but basically I just wanted to show you know there are three stages of helmet perhaps really stupid and put it you know put it in the bin um if you really need to do a second hand buy try and get hold of one that you know is you know do a bit of a checklist to make sure that you're as safe as possible and then if possible upgrade to something and if you're still on a budget under 100 pounds is going to be certified with basic and minimum uh you know sort of approvals that's the um uh, EC you know 2205 one um, then also there are sharp ratings which I think is a good thing to go for and uh, that's independent testing of a helmet and you can get that under 100 pounds so that's awesome but just to uh, summarize motorcycle helmets have a shelf life a helmet should last five years maximum uh, and that's not necessarily with you know sort of like heavy use so if you're going riding a lot it's maybe nearer the two-year mark um, because obviously they're exposed to all of these different elements and that will you know create wear and tear on the helmet and it's not what you see on the outside that indicates how safe it still is or is at all um, it's about the condition of that foam inside and how that will protect your brain so if you've got one in the loft and it's been there for a while bin it um, it's your head don't mess around with that um, should you buy second hand uh, you know try and get a history of the helmet uh, make sure it was you know sort of being used recently and that someone's just giving up biking perhaps that's that's a good idea um, you know make sure the visor is functional um, no obvious signs of impact and you know pull the lining apart and have a look at the foam as much as you can just look where it's painted black look for the white cracks or anything like that that shows that it's just starting to uh, deteriorate and make sure that the strap is um, good uh, you want the helmet to fit really snugly but with no pressure points that's what you want so if you can shake your head and it moves a little it's too big um, and yeah so so keep all of that in mind um, but obviously you know terrible if you have to best idea um, go and get a new helmet and uh, and do it with someone that can um, give you good advice whilst you do that but I've really enjoyed being back on the bike if you've seen any of my other content you'll see that I'm very anxious all the time and uh, very safety conscious so it seems like a stupid thing to do and it is but maybe that's the definition of exhilaration when something is so fun but so scary at the same time um, that and climbing and mountain biking and you know uh, trying to do mountain trips and stuff is all just fun stuff you know but um, everything has an element of danger just try and be as safe as you can uh, whilst doing that. That's my, uh, that's the thing I'm starting to learn. Anyway, right, so on to the next video. We're out for a ride. I um, hope this was helpful. Ta-da!